me ask you one simple question. When has a game gone too far? Well, I'll show you. Violent role-playing games are negatively diverting for teens. Now, there are many ways I can show you this. One way is violent role-playing games make teens want to recreate the actions of characters in the game. For example, ABC News writers Lauren Efron and Kelly Robson report that three 12-year-old girls had a sleepover for one of the birthdays. Two of the girls forced the other into the woods against her will. Where there she was stabbed 19 times, barely making it out alive as the two other girls ran away. You would never think this is something that two girls would do. But this is what some of the effects that violent role-playing games have on teenagers. Those two teenagers were set down a bad path for the rest of their life. Now this all goes to show why violent role-playing games are negatively diverting for teens. Another factor that can divert teens negatively is when teens play violent RPGs for way too long and get extremely involved. Now, all this can affect others around them. Take the Xbox Killing article by Susanna Renton, for example. A man in Philadelphia was playing an RPG for seven hours when his daughter unplugged his Xbox. He was so angered by the game and the accident that he threw his daughter across the room, fracturing her skull in multiple places and killing her. This seems like something no one would do in their right mind, yet a mature man did. You can only imagine what teenagers might do playing these games. These RPGs were distracting for others as well. As you saw, the girl was just trying to get her dad's attention. All this evidence just goes to show how much these teens can be diverted by these role-playing games. Thank you. It's all this ruckus I am hearing. Oh. Huh. What? <laughs> it was Cleo sitting by the school. Okay. Now. <laughs> oh, I got the time machine. This is a bad idea. Oh no, I need my shoes now. I think I broke something. <laughs>